This is Odankula, the location of a research campus of the Finnish Meteorological Institute in northern Finland. It is a perfect place to study the snow properties and monitor the snow evolution. And that's what this international team of researchers is doing, because snow is a critical component of the Earth ecosystem. Snow reflects most of the sunlight back to the space, cooling the planet and thermally insulates the surface, protecting plants and animals from cold. Snow is also a reservoir of our fresh water. Snow is very sensitive to climate change. With the increase of the global temperature, the length of the snow season is decreasing. This causes further warming. Uh, for accurate uh, prediction of future climate change, uh, it is needed to uh, consider the effect of such a uh, small uh, microphysical uh, snow microphysics, uh, such as snow grain size and the impurity concentration in their model. So our uh, these measurements result uh, could improve the accuracy of the uh, global change uh, prediction. Snow is monitored mainly from satellites. They have sensors indirectly measuring the snow properties through the electromagnetic signals that the snow reflects or emits. In Sodankula, large antennas receive these signals from satellites. The snow products derived from these signals are compared and validated with ground-based observations made with radars, microwave radiometers and optical spectral radiometers, as well as direct manual measurements of snow properties. We have uh, several uh, uh, spectral radiometers measuring the full uh, visible and uh, near-infrared light at high spectral resolution and continuously. This is actually the first time that these instruments are placed in the same area and so the, the, their um, output can be intercompared. These are, this instrumentation is the state of art, the, the top level in the, in, uh, in the field. These instruments encompass a large electromagnetic spectrum as waves of different wavelengths penetrate at different snow depths and interact differently with the snow microstructure. Thus, they are able to provide information on different snow properties. Yes, this is a microwave radar and uh, it's composed of three antennas. This is one uh, transmitting antenna and two receiving antennas. And uh, it's intended to measure the physical properties of the snowpack, such as uh, depth and density. And, and also the, the physical properties of each uh, snow layer in, within the snowpack. And well, that's, this is a prototype and we are just trying uh, to, to measure the snowpack here. The microwave signals received from radars and microwave radiometers provide information on the amount of snow while the reflected light received by the optical sensors provide information on the snow-covered area and on the snow albedo. Albedo is the fraction of solar radiation reflected by the snow back to the space. Snow albedo mainly depends on the snow microstructure and on the snow impurity content. When snow gets old, snow crystals become bigger and more rounded and snow albedo decreases. Also impurities such as dust and black carbon originated from the fossil combustion cause the decrease of snow albedo. So less refriction means more absorption in the snow and more absorption means more energy, heat, warm, high temperature and snow is going to melt. This instrument is called GSAF, Grand Based Flux and Albedo uh, me measured instrument. Uh, this instrument measures downward ray solar radiation and uh, upward solar radiation and uh, diffuse component. Uh, from this data, we can uh, calculate the uh, albedo at the selected wavelength channels uh, in the visible and near infrared region. Uh, with these data, uh, we can retrieve the snow grain size and the impurity concentrations. 
That is very important for the albedo. This is Finnish Theoretic Institute Field Conio Spectrometer Thiki Thiko. This instrument measures how much light is scattered in each direction. Snow does not reflect the visible light uniformly in all directions. More light is reflected in the direction of the sun. The anisotropy of the reflected light depends on solar elevation, wavelength and surface roughness. These measurements are needed to interpret the electromagnetic signal received from spectrometers on board satellites as they measure the snow reflectance from a narrow angle and from a single direction. The value should be, uh, should be very high scientifically, uh, mainly because uh, these type of measurements in the past have been very rare, that we have uh, really been able to combine both microwave measurements, uh, passive microwave uh, radiometers and radars together with, uh, with optical measurements, all focusing on snow cover. Sodankula experiment runs from cold and dry snow to melting snow. Japanese, French, Chinese, Swiss, Italian and Finnish research groups are creating the full picture of the snow evolution using unique combination of instruments. Snow properties directly measured with manual instruments will be used to improve and develop methods to derive the same properties from the measured electromagnetic signals. This work will contribute to the enhancement of the snow monitoring from satellites. What I am trying to do here is to uh, take macro photographs of, of the snow grains. Uh, the aim here is to analyze the size distribution of the snow grains. Uh, in practice, in this weather condition, we have, when we are only slightly below zero, we have the problem that the snow grains uh, tend to melt almost faster than we can manage to do the job, so it's not quite easy at the moment. The snowpack is formed by several snow layers having different density and microstructure characteristics. Here a complete series of snow properties is manually collected from the surface to the bottom of the snowpack once or twice a day. The different layers are identified and profiles of snow density, temperature and specific surface area are collected. Um, it's a piezoelectric sensor, so it changes the pressure forces to an electric current, um, which is really, really sensitive, so you can really see the different grains in the snow. And then that signal is amplified, and you can use that to measure densities of the snow, specific surface area of the snow grains. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of different parameters you can get from the resistance. You can see it's it's incredibly perfect. The leveling is 0.06 or 7 degrees in one direction and 0.05 degrees in the other one. So it's absolutely, uh, it cannot be better. <laughs>